the test. Bring the old chair up there and... I think I'm beginning to understand this system. <laughs> ask you to suspend belief for just a while as I uh, sing this song about Francis Child. Um, I've always wondered how songs actually reached him. I mean, just think of the process of, of songs and poems and stories that, that found their way to music and then maybe passed from one hand to the next and, and, and made their way into the 1800s in Cambridge, Massachusetts to someone who was a great scholar of collecting music and who I think this is something that was uh, pressed on me by, by Sandy and Caroline, just how amazing that process is, that songs never, never escape us, they just kind of grow and get better. Um, what I learned about Francis Child was he was a sailmaker's son. He had uh, humble beginnings and he used to work in his father's sail loft. And just imagine the things he must have seen and heard about, all the ships coming into Boston Harbor, traveling around the world. Um, that must have impacted him somehow. And this is where the disbelief comes in, because then I made this epic attempt to try to connect some of those ballads to the possibility that maybe songs did pass from one lucky, maybe one unlucky soul to the next, and finally to songs we call today child ballads. I've never sung this before. I have maybe once. This one is called uh, Francis Dear Sir. It's got a chorus. Uh, comes around a few times, so you'll learn it. My name is Andrew, Andrew McClure. My home <coughs> is Kirkcuddy's Green Shore. I have studied the battles of Scotland's great ships, and I wish I had the whole health to go on. But I wrote these long verses as a gift to the king, never expecting his ear. Telling the tales of his brave Scottish lord And the sailors all fear There was a tale of the St. Johnston's Wall And the tale of the loss of Leith Sand And of ladies who waited with babes in their arms For their lads to return to this land Francis, dear sir, I think we might have been friends. You have the soul of a sailmaker's son, and you know all the verses I've penned. Well, I signed twenty copies in my own clumsy hand, and I put them away carefully. And one sent to the king, and five posted in town With the hope that the ladies might see One lady was fairer than any I'd known But she had no interest in me It was said she was waiting for her lad still at sea And she wrote for him sweet poetry Francis, dear sir, I think we might have been friends. You have the soul of a sailmaker's son, and you know all the verses I pen. Well, she never did answer, she was sad and forlorn. She hurried each day to the shore. Searching the cliffs and the crashing white foam For her lad to return nevermore Well, my name is Catherine, Catherine Doyle I am poorer than ever you'll know I'd given my heart to a lad still at sea Who once said he'd return by the snow He was brash and poor-mannered With no disciplined ways And I worry 
how he'd bide his time. The shores of strange countries, the wars of strange lands. So I wrote for him these simple rhymes. There was one of the beauty of our bonny fair land, and another whose tale told the tale of a way I might steal myself safely to him on his lord's vessel under full sail. Francis, Francis, dear sir, I think we might have been friends. You have the soul of a sailmaker's son, and you know all the verses I've penned. Well, the years have passed slowly, and my love now is gone, and his bones rest on cold Avador. I have sold my last verses, and I have put my pen down. I will share my thoughts freely no more. But save for the verses that were given to me by a lad who wrote poetry too. Then a few of my others, I then added these two, so the words might best carry to you. All you minstrels and jesters, all your king's company, may you bring them good melodies too. And sir, if you find the kind lad who wrote verses to me, would you give him those melodies too? Francis, Francis, dear sir, I think we might all have been friends. You have the soul of a sailmaker's son, and you know all the verses I've penned. Francis, Francis, dear sir, I think we might all have been friends. You have the soul of a sailmaker's son. Time for our last song. Uh, Howie and I are going to sing a song together this time. And um, uh, the the great thing, one of the great things about folk legacy is that they um, they managed to preserve so many songs from people like Frank Prophet and Old Bell Reed and different traditional singers. And then they also had the good sense to uh, put down on vinyl the. Contemporary songs that have been written in, in the style of many people or, you know, maintaining the traditional um, patterns of the old songs. Well, we'd like to sing one of the old songs. Our friend um, Jeff Davis couldn't be here tonight. He was going to come with us and play fiddle, but he, he waxed sentimental last night as we were practicing about how all of the first music that he heard came from Folk Legacy, and he, he memorized it all. He memorized all of the Frank Prophet, all of the, the Copper first Family, Copper Family, all the early stuff on Folk Legacy, and that's how he got started. Mm. That's how I got started, too. And you'll probably know this one, so sing along. Down in some lone valley, in a lonesome place. Where the wild birds do whistle and their notes do increase. Farewell, pretty Sarah. I must bid you adieu. And I'll dream of pretty Sarah wherever I go. My love, she won't have me. And I understand She wants a freeholder And I have no land I cannot maintain her 
I've no silver and gold Can't buy all the fine things That a big house can hold But if I was a merchant and could write a fine hand I'd write my love a letter That she'd understand Write it down by the river Where the waters overflow And I'll dream of pretty Sarah Wherever I Down in some lone valley, in a lonesome place, where the wild birds do whistle, and their notes do increase. Farewell, pretty Sarah, I must bid you adieu, and I'll dream of pretty Sarah. Wherever I go And I'll dream of pretty Sarah Play the Scottish music in the Scottish way. I love the music because I love the hustle. Down in the cracks with the gristle and the muscle. I love the lift, love the drive. Without it, I just can't survive. I'm a smooth bow. When I'm gliding, I strut my stuff. When I'm sliding, play with me. I'll tell it so. Everything you everything you ever wanted will show well your reputation here is awfully high and being who i am i thought i'd check out why if one of you fits into my plans i'll be giving up my one night stands i'm a sweet bow i'm a one of a kind but i'll do the choosing if you don't mind come see me later after the crush i'll put you through some paces that will make you blush i'm your bow strong and steady jump like a racehorse when you're ready drive me well i'll let you hear everything that you ever held dear in my motion there's an ocean of pleasure I have a notion there's no other can measure up to the sound you'll get with me. It's the highest quality. I can read your mind, know your heart, handle me well. I'll do my part, tell you everything you're thinking, maybe more. Play with me and you'll know the score. I'm your bow, supple and sassy. Folks who hear me say I'm classy. Upon my stroke, you can depend. It's at your command from end to end. <laughs> well, I'm a storyteller. I'm a gossip monger. 
your emotions feed my hunger. Every little rumor, every murmur I've heard passes through me because I spread the word. I can't keep a secret, I kiss and tell. I weave them up in a musical spell. Your slightest pressure I will show. The sweetest feelings that you'll ever know. I'll help you reach your highest goal. And I'll be under your control. I keep the beat. I make the sound. What would you do without me around? like this when she played with Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was. she didn't let on. <laughs> yes, I was. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was. What were you thinking when all these people were drowned at sea and stuff? Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was sad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. That's great, Ann. It's just... <laughs> it's, a side, it's a side of Ann you only get special... When the lights are out. That's right. That's right. Thank God for the snow. Folk legacy after dark. Yeah. That's very folky, isn't it? Yeah. Not at all. It's, it's something else, though. It's very something else. It's Annie. It's very Annie, yeah. Now, bring all these things. I, I remember going down to visit Frank Prophet in the 1960s. and. Uh, <coughs> He, I, I have on tape someplace him reciting the words that folk ways misunderstood in his um, version of Bo Lampkin, which is a very traditional song. And I, and I can't remember much of it, but, but the, the song goes, Bo Lampkin was a fine, as fine a mason as ever laid a stone. And folk, folk ways, not folk legacy, folk ways, when they translated it, Frank was saying, he was reading it right from the, from the booklet. He said, Bo Lampkin was the spider mason, he said. And he's trying to figure out what a and then he described for us what a spider mason might have looked like. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. And, and there were five or six of those different things. I have all these kind of early <laughs> memories of, of Sandy and, and uh, Frank and, and Larry Older. And now that I'm out in Chicago near, you know, where Studs Terkel used to do the midnight special, Rich Warren still does it, and the Old Town School is there. If you go down the basement of the Old Town School, there's a picture from the 1950s of Herb and Betty Noodleman who were on the Golden Ring, the initial Golden Ring, Herb looking like the 40s lawyer that he was in the 1960s, the 30s lawyer or something in the 1960s. So all these kind of, this, all this sort of comes back when I, when I hear these kind of songs and I'm among these wonderful folks. I believe if I live my life again, I'd still be here with you. I believe if I live my life again, I'd still be here with you. You know I think if I live That old sun would never shine. No, I think if death really held a night, we'd all be beggars of love. But I believe if I live my life again, I'd still be. Everything will 
have a time Why should I ask for things that I don't need Or pretty lies to hide my greed For I believe I live my life again I still be Some things I don't want to see. Still, I believe if you lived your life again, you'd still be here with me. Oh, I believe if I live my life again, I still be. If I live my life again, I still be here with you. Oh, I believe if I live my life again, I'd still be. something I made this summer. Uh, a few years back I did a carving, a nice piece of mahogany about that big. And uh, it was uh, the bow of this sort of muscular workboat looking thing. And all you could see was the hawse pipe and the uh, anchor rope coming out of that. And it looked bar taut. And you could see there was wind in the sky and there was an old fender hanging on the side. So you know it was a workboat. And up by the pilot house, there was a, a young woman sitting with her arms around her knees and her hair streaming back behind her. And uh, I called it Jenny and the Roadstead. And a roadstead is just an anchorage, or a, a place near an anchorage where there's a passage. And I didn't think much of it. I just. Uh, kept going with it, and, and uh, but it occurred to me, I, got, I looked at a picture of it this summer, and I thought, well, who is this woman? It never occurred to me to think of that before. <clears throat> What's she waiting for? And I, I got so curious, I, I had to write a song. <clears throat> I had to answer myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the chorus is, oh, Jenny, let the damn fool go. A good man down the line. You're bound to meet him on the next short toe, and he's going to treat you fine. Jenny's anchored off in the roadstead now, playing to a three inch roll. Should have been gone on the morning tide, but now the whole damn day. Sitting on 